We are back in the agents of yesteryears in the 23rd century and we're scanning for heat signatures to hunt down these Torian raiders. And there we have it. Spear throws. Ah. I'm an engineer, short of a tactical officer. Suppose I am best for it. But, engineer, not so much. And we have bones. See, they look fairly normal, they're just primitive. And we have the chief. Um, the main reason I actually picked, um, as I've already said, I'm not the biggest fan of the original series. I understand it's brilliant for its time, but being basically, I've was born in '98. I first ever episode of any Star Trek episode I watched ever was a random episode of DS9 because I had no idea what the hell Star Trek was um, at the time and fairly enjoyed it. Lieutenant, we're over here. Help! Took me then. Thanks for coming back for us, sir. We owe you one. Pretty sure those things were going to have us for dinner. Not on my watch. But I didn't then see another episode of Star Trek for couple of years after I then figured out what it was. The Torians appear to be in a late Stone Age state of development. Thank you for your now isn't observation. Now is the best time for an anthropology lecture, Skial. Um, but I understand it was brilliant for its time. I personally don't enjoy it. The main reason I picked engineer, other than the fact that it being my only engineering option, is Trip, otherwise known as Commander Charles Tucker the Third from Star Trek Enterprise which is one which is actually my second third I suppose joint second favorite Star Trek TV series although am I seeing things because those guys picking through the wreckage sure look like Klingons just what are Klingons doing on Taurus 2 let's find out ready phases just in case they're not in the mood for questions And they're not. Looks like they aren't in the mood for questions, Lieutenant. Yes, and he was my favourite character out of that entire thing. Um, it was probably it. I think it was literally the most hated series out of all of them. Is that a Klingon pad? Bring it to me. I have some experience decrypting Klingon data. You would for a tactical officer. Um. Huh. My little sister's diary was harder to decrypt. Sure, Klingons are good at fighting, but computers aren't their strong suit. And voila! One Klingon pad, unlocked and ready for your inspection. Nice work, Hanson. Let's have a look. Captain Core, your plan has worked perfectly, sir. Many ships have fallen into our trap. We've snared a few merchant ships and a Starfleet science vessel so far. A Federation cruiser on long range sensors. Constitution class. Time to hunt bigger game. Glory to the Empire! Looks like the Klingons are using both guile and brute force here, Lieutenant. A pretty potent combination. The captain's definitely going to want to hear about this. Agreed. Yeah, more Klingon.
Yes, I didn't mean for this episode to be quite spoken on my interest on Star Wars TV series, but I thought I just might decide why I chose that. And with Discovery coming soon this year, I'm really looking forward to it. The ship design is probably the closest to the NX. Let's get back to the shuttle before more of them show up. The NX Enterprise. Um, but I'm not so sure on the design for the Discovery. It's not really my thing. Although, I'll have to discuss this somewhat another time. It's just, there's so much to discuss about, and I'm not going to do it during an episode. It's Klingon at everywhere. We're ready to go when you are. Hope this thing's got enough fuel to get us back to the ship. That makes two of us. Are you ready to board the shuttle, Lieutenant? Yes, let's go. Congratulations, Lieutenant. We're finally leaving Taurus too. Probably one of the worst planets ever. I'm not sure what class ship the Windsor is. Assuming we're on the Windsor, that is what I did name we it. You made it. Never thought I'd be so happy to see a shuttle bay. I admit I had my doubts in the beginning. Didn't think I'd hold it together down there. Every time I heard those things roar. But here I am. Thanks for believing in me. Couldn't have done it without you, Anson. Thanks. Shit. What Klingon are on board? Bridge to shuttle bay. Please respond. Damn it. Can't get in there. We have some uninvited guests, Lieutenant. We've been boarded. The Klingons have breached the hall on the engineering deck and blocked our access. Since I can't send security in, I need you to secure the deck. Hi, right, sir. So recommendations? Start with the engineering lab. We need to bring our plasma relays back online. After that, secure the armory and main engineering. Who we'll hands it, sir? Tarsi, Miz. Ready weapons and prepare to repel waters. I'm remembering an old Earth adage about leaping from frying pans into fires. Your orders, Lieutenant? Stay here with Tarsi to help this squad. I'll take care of the labs. I fear I'm going in the right direction. I'll cover you while you clear out the lab, Lieutenant. Okay, I have no clue who the hell you even are. primary plasma conduits. Get them running, fast. Okay, initiating the plasma conduits. Plasma conduits reinitialized. Auxiliary power restored. Now clear out that- Watch out! More Klingons!
great work. Secure engineering next, if you can. Coming around this side? Yes. We've cleared the rest of the deck, Lieutenant. Well done. You and Tarsi hold here. I'll clear out Ben Engineer. Commander. Damn it. Is the calm. Nice work. Internal sensors showed you have secured the engineering deck. I need you to take a look at the engines now. The Klingons fouled them up good. On it, sir. Stand by. Engines back online. Initiate evasive maneuvers. I need you on the bridge, Lieutenant. I'm my way, sir. Sir, incoming transmission. He looks familiar. Where am I standing? Right over there. Let's fight for your screen. Federation Starship, this is Captain Kor. Surrender if you must, but I'd rather you fight with honor. Yeah, he looks familiar. I can't think of where though. Good work, Lieutenant. The Klingons will think twice before they try to board this ship again. Now take the helm. We need to get to a friendly sector. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Okay. Just gonna double check. Uh, yes, that's Explore Earth Space Dock will be the first mission for that. Um, let's just Take the helm. Now, unlike others, where I was sensors are picking up Klingon power signatures in two nearby satellites. I'm thinking they're broadcasting the distress signals that lured in our ships. Bring us in close so we can scan them and find out. I sir. As I was saying, unlike other episodes where normally I would stop it here, even though it's a short episode and continue on, I'm deciding not to. So we have one, three, four. So I'm actually then going to is it not gonna let me switch it? Um yes it will. So um Wait, no, no. Please fix there. Yes. There. Rear it pad might need that as well. But no. That'll be for the Klingons. Not for us. Then torpedo yield. So see alt. Get rid of that. So that's then four. And let's go. The Windsor. See, it's second bodies there, which makes it rather interesting. Let's scan the beacon. Ah, oh, well, the third century science technology. report coming in now. The satellites are using a triaxilating signal. It's strong enough to cut through the interference and reach ships outside the nebula. Clever. Almost a shame we have to blow them up, isn't it? 
I sir, it's a real tragedy. Watch the engineering that took to build that. Ship is under attack. Nice work, one down, one to go. Looks like this one is shielded though. I guess we're gonna need to wait for the twenty seconds for it to reactivate, but let's get there first. Have full impulse. Not that we're gonna need it for long. Coming out full impulse for fire. Of course. I wonder what sort of weapons they are. Oh. How's the hell? Can, can you hear us? We're under attack by Klingon raiders. Our shields are buckling. Won't last long. Hold on, Captain. We're on our way. Tellarites. Stubborn little people. But a D5 Raptor. This is going to be a battle and a half. No shields. Ah, D6. No D6s. Or D7s. Yeah. Fortunately, they weren't the raptors I was thinking of, and I accidentally picked evasive maneuvers. Uh, Although we did literally just fly into that. Thanks for the help. Our engines are offline. Could you transfer some energy and get them started again? Can do, Captain. Stand by. Let's transfer energy. Thanks for everything. Good luck with the Klingons. Safe travels, Captain. Lieutenant, I've made some modifications to our torpedo launcher. I think you'll like the results. Acknowledged. Let's get this done quick, fast, and move on. There's a Klingon ship. And it's turning to face us. Gotcha. Firing. It's one shielded. Decorate my bridge. I can't tell if that's core or not. Klingons don't fear me. Target's shield have failed. Four Klingon ships detected on long range sensors, sir. Captain, not I. Two more D fives. Great. Shields are holding for now. Fine. 
docking on ship suggests as much as they are in the 25th century. USS Enterprise. Acknowledge, please. Her. Acknowledge, Enterprise. En route to your position now. And I'm So, the cub comes to fight beside the wolfie. And now you will die with him as well. Oh, alright. I'm going to end this part now, just because of the arrival of the Enterprise. Of course it's suspense. I have no idea how much will be in the next episode. Um but we shall see. So see you guys in the next part. Bye guys.